Ruk Pedet. Hello guys and today we are going to look at 50 of my Hot Wheels collection so I got this over the years and the reason why they are still in the cards is because uh, I have some space issues and everybody has it alright so first up we have this street crawler from the Rod Squad series let's take it out so this is a spider team car which looks like a hot rod so probably that's why it's called the speed crawler it has golden chrome all over and uh, you can see the engine pop out here very nice hot wheels all right this is a custom 77 dodge van from the super chrome series oh the golden chrome is very golden very shiny And even everything about it, just, yeah, it's even shinier than the previous car. And everything about it just says bling. So I bought this in Taiwan last time, and this is a mad manga in white. Why is it so difficult to get it out? So it says Falcon on the hood and I think this looks very good. Are those Japanese words? Yeah, I think those are Japanese words which I can't tell. So it looks very well done with the design and all. Looks like wow those uh those Japanese cars are you know those that they tune up that exaggerated exhaust pipes. They have this in real cars? I think so. Okay, next. Another mad manga! Yep, another mad manga, but this time I got it from Thailand. This is in blue. So this is made in Malaysia and it says 2011, so I suppose this was made in 2011. That's like 9 years back. So exactly same design, same casting, but this one is in blue, less fancier designs, just stripes and arrows. Look a bit more cartoonish. Eh? Yeah, the, the, the color looks very cartoonish, I think. Probably because they use all the bright colors. Okay, next we have a 70 Camaro. This looks like one of those uh, 50 anniversary uh, pop wheels kind of thing, I think. <laughs> so this is from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. So on the side it says uh, Hot Chicks, I think. <laughs> I can't really tell what it is. Yeah. This is Hot Chicks. Hot Chicks. Hot Chickies. <laughs> So I like the shape of this and the front and the metallic blue pin. Nice. So they are not like Tomika, you can't open stuff like that. Alright, another one from Taiwan. This is a Nissan Skyline HT2000 GTX. So uh, all the ones from Taiwan so difficult to open. <laughs> <laughs> Sealed very well. Very well sealed. So this is a very cool black Nissan. Gold rims. Well, I'm, I'm amazed that the gold rims has not faded yet. Looks like some bad paint on the roof. Everybody loves a Nissan. Alright, my favorite. R34! Yep, Nissan GTR R34. Let's get it out. This one, Thailand. <laughs> Favorite blue. So GTR is always looking fantastic. No matter which angle you look at it. Yeah, 
another GTR, but this is a GTR R33. Oh, so it comes in a very nice, uh, shiny red, glittery kind of red paint. Very clear indication of the GTR. Much clearer than the black, huh? Yeah, I think because this is a newer version. And now we have the one before the R33, uh, R32. So I opened one of these before in the uh, Hot Wheels Drift playset video. And if you have not, you can check it out. So very nice Yokohama placing over there. Love the blue. But the spoiler is molded. It's not the hollow kind. Room. Another GTR R32 in black. And this is from the Hot Wheels Turbo series. So very clear indication of the skyline word at the side. Glittery. Yeah, it's very glittery and it almost looks like some jelly kind of kind of finishing. Nice. This is a uh, eighty one DeLorean DMC twelve. So I got this from Thailand for one hundred and twenty baht. Oh, does that look like it came out? Oh, now it's back. <laughs> it's supposed to come out? I, I don't think it's supposed to come out. So this is the Back to the Future car before mm. it became Back to the Future. DMC DeLorean. Always a favorite. Classic. Fancy. And then we have another DMC DeLorean in red. So it's the same car? Yeah, it's the so same car. Color. It's just that a uh, different color. They didn't do any changes to the design of it. It's exactly the same mold? Yeah, it's exactly the same mold, exactly the same style. It's just a different colour. So this is a 55 Chevy Bell Air Gasser from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. So I like the bright red they used uh, on this car. It says Holly equipped and comes in red and white. Wow. So you can see through the engine here. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's very nice, right? The see through part is so cool. Yeah. So it's missing the hood cover, and uh, if it rains, it rains. Too bad you can't pop the hood. Looks very nice. Even the interior is a uh, silvery chrome. Oh. No suspensions, but looks very nice. So how does it look like on the table? So one cool thing about this car is that the front wheels are much smaller than the back wheels. So this is how it looks like on us flat surface and it does roll even though that the front wheels are smaller and lower yay next we have a 67 chevelle ss 396 from the muscle mania well, one nice thing about this you don't need big muscles to open up so just like the cut on the side is full of livery or temples whichever you want to call it and the reason why i got this is because i like all these kind of designs on a car the rest of it is actually quite plain and uh, the red is actually very nice mothers all right next we have a nissan 300 zx twin turbo buy to get one free
So this looks very nice in red. Very special roof, but then uh, this roof looks like the Toyota MR2. Oh, cool. They added the 300ZX at the back. Nice. Alright, next we have a Porsche 934 Turbo RSR in green. And this from the Then and Now series. Standard Porsche looking very cool. Yeah. The spoiler looks very different and special. And the side fender is also very thick. Mm -hmm. McLaren P1 from the Hot Wheels Exotics. So the green they use is very different from the Porsche that you see just now. This one looks like one of those uh, pearlescent, iridescent kind of uh, green. Very nice Hot Wheels logo at the back. Seventeen Acura NSX from the Hot Wheels Exotics as well. This is also buy to get one free. So this blue on the NSX is very nice. Love it. So it doesn't use the Honda emblem because it's from Acura. Oh, pin chip. 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Also buy to get one free. Yeah, I think I bought them together at the same sale. So there's this Ryu over here. Nothing to do with Street Fighter. So one thing I like about this is the front, you can see the Mazda speed and the license plate. It's very seldom you see such detailing on the diecast cars. SRT Viper GTSR from the Hot Wheels Race Day series. On the side you can see the GTS and the SRT Hot Wheels. And this logo, I do not show. Not sure what it is. Very nice and cool looking spoiler. The printed headlights. Mazda RX-7. So I think I got this for a pretty long time already. You can see it's pretty dirty. Very cool looking and well done RX-7. I think the red is pretty similar to the red GTR which we saw just now. I actually prefer the red on this RX-7. Spider Mobile from the Hot Wheels Screen Time series. So cute! Yeah, I think this one is very cute and it looks like the one they used in uh, some Spider Man show. So I think the color scheme that they use is very nice because red, blue, black, Spider Man. So it comes with a uh, big wheels at the back and smaller wheels in the front. Psst, now we have the bone shaker. Is this your only 50th anniversary? I think this is not the only one but uh, this got chosen. 
amongst the rest because it is golden and very nice. So I like the color selection that they use for black and gold. Yeah, the black is matte and it's well printed at 50 anniversary logo. Look at that skull. Alright, next we have a Road Bandit from the Hot Wheels Metro series. So I was watching the series Prison Break recently and they were in Panama in one of the seasons and this one looked like one of the bus from there. But this doesn't look like a bus. It looks more like a getaway car for one person and you can keep all your loot over there. Look at that beefed up engine. That super nice purple chrome and that pinkish wheels. Rope Bandit Taxi. Fast Guessing, also from the Hot Wheels Metro selection. So 100 octane, Hot Wheels Racing Fuel. So I'm guessing this is one of the refilling trucks you can use. For their Hot Wheels cars. Nice. Alright, so we are done with the first 25 cars and now we are going to look at the remainder 25. So let me know down below in the comments which were one of your favorite cars so far. Alright, now we got a Jaguar XJ220 from the Hot Wheels Exotic series. Mm, I like the orange. Yeah, the orange is very nice and I think this looks like one of my childhood cars. So XJ220, number 22, full Jaguar on the top roof, nice. So the headlights are printed and this is what I meant, they actually look kind of alike so I suppose they are the same. Just that probably this uh, 220 is one of the newer series, newer model. Okay, we have a Toyota 2000 GT over here and I think this is pretty old. Old as in uh, probably I got this many years ago. Yeah, it's one of the first few Hot Wheels that I got together with the DeLorean DMC that we saw just now. Alright, another buy two get one free, probably from the same sales. This is a custom Ford Maverick. So I like the silver finishing that they have used for this paint job. Number 94, very glittery and looks like all the galaxy has been stored into this car. Nice. Okay, now we have a 16 Lamborghini Centenario Roadster from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. So the paint job used is very silvery, very greyish kind of thing and I think this very well made. Comes with uh, painted headlights. So this feels very plasticky but I think it's pretty well done. Very lightweight. Porsche Outlaw 356A from the Night Burners. So this actually doesn't look that blue, but uh, it's actually quite green. It's not on the yeah, but it's not showing on my camera. We got a Fair Lady 2000 from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. Very nice 1552 design on the sides. 
this special graphic over here. Reminds me of Halloween. Looks like Halloween. Halloween pink color. No, because of the black and red. And orangey. Yeah, orangey kind of thing. I like the red rims. Me too. Yeah. Okay, one of the favorites, that Sun 620 truck, the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks. So this has a very nice matte black kind of paint. Cool. Looks like one of those standard trucks that you see on the road every day. And I suppose people can sit there, or you can just put some boxes. I can see why this is one of the fan favorites out there. Okay, from the Froza Horizon 4 game, we have the 96 Nissan 180 SX Type X. So there are six cars in this series, and you can see over here. So Froza Horizon 4, white rims. Ooh. You can see clearly in the front there's an Xbox and the Froza logo. Nice. So the pop-out lights doesn't seem to be popping out. I don't know if they want to make it pop out. Or it's not supposed to be popping out. Looks like it's half asleep. Alright, favorite car. Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Gran Turismo GTR! Yay! So there are 8 cars in this series and uh, the number 1 out of the 8 is the Nissan GTR So the favourite car Coming out clean So the Gran Turismo logo and design are very well done. On the hood you can see the GT logo, Gran Turismo, Nissan. So the GTR logo, not sure if it's missing. Yep, it's not there. Right, also from the Gran Turismo series, we have the BMW M4 over here. Performance safety car. Oh, yes, yeah, like the carbon fiber kind of roof, but it's actually very transparent. So, no details at the back. And a kind of blurred BMW logo. Alright, we have a 70 Ford Escort RS1600 from the Hot Wheels Race Day series. So it's from the Gumball 3000. I, I think this series is actually very nice, just that I couldn't get more of it. So like I mentioned before, I really like all this racing livery cars. Hot Wheels logo all over. Nice. So this is like one of those rally cars with uh, headlights. Transparent plastic. And they you can't detach it. Alright, another Datsun 620 truck. So there's four of it. There are actually eight of them out there. But this is one of my favorite. So which is why I didn't get the others. Cool Japanese words at the side. I'm not sure if this is the design or it's faded. 
Very nice red racing stripes. Oh, I think it's just faded. No! That's the side in the card, right? Yeah. Faded. So you can't really see this side before buying. Ding! On the back. It's nice. So I really love this truck. I think it's very well designed but uh, looks like one of those beefed up trucks which can even race a normal car. Alright, one of the fan favorites, Toyota AE86 Corolla. So I got this very long ago. I think this is one of the first few cars which I got. So this is in silver. Very nice kind of a TRD86 color scheme featuring the orange, red and black. Another AE86 Corolla variant. So this one is in black and white, white and black. And on the hood there's some logos kind of thing. So next we have another A86 Corolla. I wonder how many variants are there out there. So just now that one was in white and black and now this is in black and white. Everything is pretty much the same. Just that the color scheme got reversed. Which one do you like more? Mm. I like this one more. Alright, now we are reaching the last stand, so I hope you guys are still watching. Okay, next we have a Toyota Supra from the Hot View City. So other than the GTR, I always love a Toyota Supra. It's one of my favorite Toyota cars. The outlook of it looks very nice and uh, this comes in a Falcon color scheme, which I like a lot. So other than Advan, I always like Falcon ones. And then we have another Toyota Supra from the Fast and Furious series. Super nice Toyota Supra. It's very well done and I think it looks like the one they use in the film. And then we have another Fast and Furious Furious 7 Toyota Supra. This time it's in fully white. So there are like uh, 8 cars in this series. So this, this is just totally white, super clean, very nice. So there's the trademark and uh, Universal Studios over here. Was it there on the other cars? Nope. How about the other Fast and Furious car? Ooh, is this nope. the one I bought for you from USA? Yeah, I think this is the one you bought for me from uh, Universal Studios Singapore. Hey, we have a Acura NSX from the Race Day series. We have like five cars over here. Ooh, colored. Yep, it's a colored back card, and uh, I think the fan favorite is this one, and also the other two Porsches. Oh, this looks different. The other cars didn't have this thing. Mm -hmm. So the wheels look very rubbery and I uh, can't really tell if it is, but I don't think so. Very nice design, spoiler. So the body kit looks great, as well as the front fender and all. And then skin black and red standard. So the roof isn't really colored, there's stripes. 
Alright, from the Hawkbills Premium Fast and Furious series, we have a Nissan Fair Lady Z. Do you like your Fair Lady too? Yep, I love my Fair Lady. So I think this one and uh, like the previous car it comes with uh, rubber wheels. Very nice touch and uh, feel to it. And on the side is very well designed. Cool license plate. Also on this side there's actually no uh, design. It's just a plain thing. Cool. Last five. Now we are down to the last five, and this is the eighty-four Audi Sport Quattro from the Baja Blazer series. That's a very interesting green color. Yeah, I don't think we always see this kind of uh, dark green finish. And I think this is a rally car, very nice. The front is very well done. Even though the headlight is not uh, painted or plastic. And on the hood. Ooh. Nice details. Alright, now we got one of these Audi R8 LMS from the Project Car series. There are five cars in this series and uh, I was unable to get this and this. I was only able to get this. So I saw this on Instagram once and I really really like it. So I searched high and low for this. I think this originally came in a very white kind of color but this seems to be kind of yellowish right now so this looks like a very nice race car lots of detail. yeah it comes with lots of details and threaded wheels all right now we are down to the last three cars and they are all from the Fast and Furious so it's just whether Too Fast Too Furious or something like that they are all Nissan GTS R34 and we are all going to look at it so this comes with a greyish spoiler very nice GTR badge at the back exactly like the Fast and Furious GTR blue colored racing stripes so just that it doesn't come with all the sparkle and all the brands probably due to licensing issues so I don't know if this is a variant but it's also another Fast and Furious R34 so the only difference is that uh, this comes in a black spoiler very cool looking and then the last one also a Nissan GTR so initially when I looked at it I couldn't really tell and find the difference and then I ended up finding it it's actually on the hood this doesn't come with any blue colored racing stripes as we've seen before And so that's 50 Hot Wheels cars open from a lot of different toy stores over the years from Singapore, Thailand and Taiwan. It's such an awesome feeling. I'm actually super excited because I just gotten a Hot Wheels display case and will be placing these cars in it. I'll also be making a video on that too, so stay tuned. I regularly take pictures of all my diecast cars and post them on my Facebook and Insta. So if you like the cars that you see, do check back for more. Lastly, do you have any favorites in this bunch of 50? Do let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.